girls, this is Mrs. Bellantoni. I'm one of the speech teachers at Maymore, and I'm here with my son, Dominic. Dominic, say hi. To read you a very special story. It's one of our favorite stories called Frederick. And in this story, Frederick and the field mice find ways to be happy during the winter. And it made me think of us, because even though we might be inside, not doing the things that we normally do, we can still find ways to be happy like reading a book. Um. So here goes, Frederick by Leo Leone. All along the meadow where the cows grazed and the horses ran, there was an old stone wall. And in that wall, not far from the barn and the greenery, a chatty family of field mice had their home. But the farmers had moved away and the barn was abandoned. The granary stood empty. And since winter was not far off, the little mice began to gather corn and nuts and wheat and straw. They all worked day and night, all except Frederick. Frederick, why don't you work, they asked. I do work, said Frederick. I gather sun rays for cold winter days. And when they saw Frederick sitting there, staring at the meadow, they said, and now, Frederick? I gather colors, answered Frederick simply, for winter is gray. Mm. And once Frederick seemed half asleep, are you dreaming, Frederick? They asked reproachfully, but Frederick said, oh no, I am gathering words. And for the winter days are long and many, and will run out of things to say. The winter days came, and when the first snow fell, the five little field mics took to their hideout in the stones. In the beginning, there was lots to eat, and the mice told stories of foolish foxes and silly cats. They were a happy family. But little by little, they had nibbled up most of the nuts and berries, the straw was gone. The corn was only a memory. It was cold in the wall and no one felt like chatting. Then they remembered what Frederick had said about sun rays and colors and words. What about your supplies, Frederick, they asked. Close your eyes, said Frederick, as he climbed on a big stone. Now I send you rays of sun. Do you feel their golden glow? And as Frederick spoke of the sun, the four little mice began to feel warmer. Was, Frederick, was it Frederick's voice? Was it magic? And how about the colors, Frederick? They asked anxiously. Close your eyes, Frederick said. And when he told them of the blue periwinkles, the red poppies, the yellow wheat, and the green leaves of the berry bush, they saw the colors as clearly as if they were painted in their minds. And the words, Frederick, cleared, Frederick cleared his throat, waited a moment, and then, as if on a stage, he said, who scatters snowflakes, who melts the ice, who spoils the weather, who makes it nice, who grows the four-leaf clovers in June, who dims the daylight, who lights the moon, four little field mice who live in the sky, four little mice like you and I. One is the springtime mouse who turns on the showers, then comes the summer who paints in the flowers, the fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat, the winter is last with cold little feet. Aren't we lucky the seasons are four? Think of a year with one less or one more. They all applauded. But Frederick, they said, you are a poet. Frederick Blush took a bow and said shyly, I know it. The end. We hope that you like that story. Dominic, say bye, boys and girls.